What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to remove a Euro cylinder lock from your door when it's in the closed position. We don't have the keys, it's also locked. Um, we've got a viewer out there who's a little bit stuck. He's got a similar problem, no keys, doors in the locked position. So by having it in the locked and closed position, that means we don't have access to the locking screw at the back of the Euro cylinder. Previously, I've shown you guys how to do this when it's in the open position, but a very good question, a very common problem um, to have misplaced your keys when the door is actually in the locked position. I've come across so many times People try and put uh, screwdrivers down the back uh, in between the door here and also try and pry it out with a crowbar. They do a lot of damage and majority of the time they don't even open up the door. So today I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to do. We're going to remove this one here, um, open up the door and then replace it with the new Euro cylinder lock. Let's do this. So first thing we need to do is remove the cover plates. Okay, so we've got one screw down the bottom here on the inside and one on the outside. Sometimes you might find both screws on the inside. This one here is one on the inside, one on the outside. So we remove that screw. I'll go to the back of the door and also remove the one on the back here. Same thing from the outside. Remove the cover plate. And then we'll come back inside and remove the cover plate off this side also. So if we have a look now, we've got full access to the Euro cylinder. It's still fixed. We've got the locking screw holding this into place from the back. We've also got the wing on the side here, which is the locking cam. That's also holding it in place, so it's nice and solid, not going anywhere. So what we're going to use is a pair of multi-grips. If you haven't got some multi-grips, you can use also an adjustable wrench. You just want to lock this up over onto the top of the cam um, and make sure that's nice and tight. So in this case, we're going to be using some multi-grips. All you want to do, bite onto the side here, get a nice good grip, and then we're just going to bend it back towards uh, the back of the door. So we'll just hold onto that, bend it back, and you can see there that's now cracked. So if we have a look quickly at the Euro cylinder, we've now snapped the back side here off. If we have a look from the outside, same thing, you can see it's all bent on the back there. What we're going to do now is we're going to focus on this side here. Once again, multi-grips on, and we're going to go in the opposite direction this time. So once again, a little bit of pressure in the opposite direction. And that's now come off. You can see there we've got a clean cut right down the middle. The only thing left inside now is the cam and also the locking screw. So a bit of a close-up for you guys, you can see the screw up here, that's our locking screw, and then we've got our cam down the bottom. So what we're going to do now, once again, feed that cam out, push it out the other side, once it wants to turn around, that's now pushed out the other side and that's all clear. Now we take a flatted screwdriver, and usually you can unlock it from the locking mechanism here. However, because we locked this one here with the key uh, prior to removing this Euro cylinder, we need to mimic the movements of the cam. So if we have a look down the bottom here, there's a little black pin. If this will focus for you guys, you can see that black section at the back, silver pin down the bottom. We're gonna push that black um, section in and then just simply push down on the silver bit. You can hear that little click and now we've opened up the locking mechanism here. So we take our screwdriver up onto the top now. This is usually where our lever would be. Turn that over and the door is going to open up. We can now remove our locking screw and we're ready for the new cam to go in. So now we take our new cam, slot that one in place, turn the key over so that now it's holding in place. We'll take our locking screw, line that one up, thread it on by hand at first, then we'll use a drill. That's now nice and tight. We'll take our cover plates And the outside screws go back on so inside screw here first and then the outside and once that's done the only thing left to do is to test out the door everything's in working order so there you have it guys, that's how to replace your Euro cylinder lock if your door is stuck in the lock position. Hopefully you guys have um, enjoyed this video and I've helped most of you out there out, um, including Pablo. So as always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's Out Too.